packing liquids in a suitcase is the absolute worst. I have some tips and tricks for you to limit the liquids in your suitcase so you can have a safer flight. Let's go. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Haley with HaleyOfTheFlare.com. If you are new here, please subscribe and don't forget to follow me over here on social. Would love to connect with you there. All right, today we're gonna be talking about liquids. Um, we all hate packing them. They're <laughs> a pain in the butt. You're only supposed to fit so much in your quart size gallon and then putting them in your checked luggage is a headache. If you don't wanna do the carry-on, it's just a mess. So I found a few products that I've used personally and I have recently tried and experimented to recommend to all of you. So let's get going with product number one. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is tablet toothpaste. I don't know if you guys can make this out that's the brand so I ordered this off of Amazon I was a little suspicious I was like tablet toothpaste but then I thought you know they kind of use a hard-ish toothpaste when you go to the dentist to get your teeth whitened so I figured why not so one of the things that's great about these is the tablets are only about this big you guys they're super small so if you're going on a weekend trip you could even put these in a smaller container like a little pill container which is less room in your suitcase and obviously no liquid. So you can pack what you need. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. I'll put the link down here from Amazon, but um, there's baking soda, mint in it. And honestly, great space saver. All right, number two. Now I thought I had one of these. We're gonna point to it right here. It is stick sunscreen. I actually use th th this particular one on my face. Um, very frequently but using a stick which kind of looks like a deodorant style sunscreen is going to save you on that liquid space and especially if you have sensitive skin need to use Neutrogena or something high-end see if it comes in a stick and then you can pack that and not have to worry about your liquid allotment all right number three shampoo and conditioner now I'm gonna have a separate tip if this tip in particular does not float your boat but you can actually purchase shampoo and conditioner bars that will obviously not count towards your liquid allotment, but they smell so good. I actually got this, this was on Amazon. It's called the, the Naked Bomb. And they have a ton of different scents. It's all natural ingredients. It's, green, it's uh, vegan, it's cruelty free, um, no parabens, all that jazz. And they come with the cute little cases that you can put them in. So if you're traveling, they're already cased up and ready to go, but no liquids. And honestly, for a bar, I was a little skeptical because we all know how I feel about my hair, even though it's doing its own thing today. Um, I was actually really impressed. <laughs> I was really, really impressed with this. So if you want to see these, um, again, I'll link these down here to give you some assistance. All right, this is my last tip. Tip number four, prime it to yourself, send it to yourself. So one of my go-to travel hacks, uh, for those of you that have been here for a while have heard me mention, mail it to yourself. I always do a big box. I call my hotel ahead of time, see if there's a fee. Usually if there is, it's only about $5 per box. Um, and I do an Amazon order about a week before I head out and I'll put, you know, bulk shampoo and conditioner, sunscreen, body wash, mouthwash, any of those liquids that you know i'm really intent on having that i don't want to pack in a suitcase have it take up weight in my checked bag or trying to put it into these little containers in my carry-on bag because let's be honest those little containers do not work when your hair is this long <laughs> um, and i'd rather use that for like my skincare regimen you know that little quart size bag that's what i prefer to put <laughs> and there's my skincare so i always go through amazon prime and i block up that stuff and I send it to the hotel. And if worse comes to worse, you know, one of my biggest recommendations, especially for you cruisers that are on here, when you stay the night before, you can always run over to a CVS, a Walgreens or whatnot. I'm a very big advocate of not having to pack more liquids than you need to and just picking them up on the way. Now I know that is an extra fee. That's not necessarily a money saving tactic but it is a stress saving tactic. <laughs> that is what I'm trying to show you here. So let me know in the comment section, which of these products you'd like to try, or if you have any tips on how to minimize your liquids, would love to hear it. And I will be back here next Wednesday with another travel vlogger tip video. Bye guys.